How you going? My name is Emilio. I've got myself this really awesome, heavy Synology NAS. It's heavy because it's amazingly good quality. It's full of discs, of course, but we want to get it a little bit faster. Now, if you're like me, you've got your NAS, you're loving it, and it's running well, but now you want to get a little bit more performance out of it. Maybe you want to run your own media center or some sort of a CCTV environment. Maybe you want to just run some virtual machines on it, whatever it may be. Sticking more RAM into it is one of the greatest things you can do. It's very, very easy to do. We're going to show you how to open this thing up, how to actually stick some RAM into it. Now, the thing that you will have to note is that only certain supported brands, certain models, modules of RAM will be supported. So if you just think, hey, I'm just gonna go get myself some DDR RAM and just stick it into here and it'll work, not so fast. Do go and check the compatibility list available on the Synology website to make sure that you are picking the correct RAM, buy that RAM, and then when you get it, then yes, you can stick it inside your NAS and it'll work and it'll work faster for you. Now, before we do get into this, you're watching this on a tech YouTube channel. My name is Emilio and I would love it, love it, love it. If you do subscribe, clicking on the button on the bell, don't just watch, but actually subscribe and follow the channel as well. And why don't you also let me know, let us know, the community of Synology lovers, why do you want to put more memory or RAM inside of your NAS? Uh, what is your purpose? Is it running very poorly? Do you just want to get a lot more out of it? Why don't you let us know? All right, let's now go and open this puppy up and boost it with some more RAM. We've got ourselves our Synology branded RAM. This is authentic Synology. Now you don't have to get a Synology branded RAM, but I like to get this particular one because it's just going to be guaranteed to work better. So now we just open the thing up. Here we got our beautiful RAM. Look at that nice Synology logo. Warranty void, don't remove that sticker. That would be bad. And here it is, DDR4 RAM. Now different NASs are gonna be in different locations, but this particular one, you stick the thing on the on its back and there's a little cover, a little plate that you just have to unscrew and that's where your RAM actually sits. On different NASs is maybe on the front, maybe inside, you have to take the hard drives out, could be on the side. So just check that out. But this particular one, our 6 Space 1621, we just open that up and here is our RAM, look at that. Now inside, Already, I have a RAM stick in there because it obviously needs RAM to run. Without the RAM, it's not gonna work. So I removed the old RAM stick and I've got two slots for RAM, making sure that these line up and I just clip them into place and you'll be able to push it down and you'll hear it click. And there it is, you screw it up and then that is ready to go. And then you literally just power the thing up. Here's one of the four bay NASs, for example, and this one, you're just gonna take those hard drives out and stick the actual NAS on its side, and that is the slot where you actually insert the additional RAM onto a four bay NAS. Speedy Gonzalez is now done. It is running great. If you've been successful, why don't you let us know in the comments. I love this NAS. I love the fact that you can put more RAM into it and get even better performance out of it. But hey, that's the end of this video. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed to this awesome channel and like this video as well. We'll see you next time.